Well, how is Lizzie? She is napping. She has a uh, session later today with Philip. Did you want to... Um... No, I don't want to disturb her. No, no, no. I'm sure that sleep is the only time she gets any real peace. <laughs> but would you mind giving her this? Just a little something to let her know I'm thinking of her. Sure. What is it? Well, it's nothing illegal, Doctor. <laughs> some samples of some new perfumes that were developing at Spalding. I... See, I'm hoping that when Lizzie's better, she'll come back to her internship in my division. <laughs> Well, it may be a while before Lizzie's ready to take on that kind of responsibility. I know, I know, I know. It's just that I'd like you to have something to sort of look forward to. Oh, and if she asked about the name, it's TBA. <laughs> okay. Because, well, we're, we're calling it Bad Girl, but I wouldn't want Lizzie to get the idea she inspired that title. Uh, no. Well, that's something we wouldn't want. No. Ah, oh, Philip. Philip, I was just dropping off something for Lizzie. That's fine. Excuse me. Well, at least it's good that we're all coexisting peacefully now, huh? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, there was a time when you'd have me thrown out of the house. I know. I know how much you love Lizzie. And how much I dislike Olivia, yeah. Well, I heard about a disappearing act. See, if I were you, I'd be looking for someone to blame, and maybe that, uh, maybe that person would be me. Philip, you really don't know where Olivia is. No. Please believe me when I tell you I never meant for any of this to happen. You've wanted Olivia gone from the time you met her. Well, not while she was carrying your child, and certainly not like this. I know, and it was all to save the family. I, I know, I know, I know. And I've, I've heard it all before. But, Philip, please, I am so sorry. I take complete responsibility for my partner. You have done some in the name of this family that I will never understand and never be able to condone. Some of them have made me want to turn my back on you for good. Some of them like this? Oh, I really wish I could blame this mess with Olivia and you. It would make things much, much easier. And I think I have to look a little closer to home. Well, no, you're right. I don't understand. I, I don't understand how you could possibly have no leads. She should be extremely easy to spot. She's very pregnant. <laughs> well, you can do better. Call me when you know something. Okay, Philip. Today is your day with your session with Lizzie, the one she requested. Yeah, I, I know. I, I didn't forget. I just, um, I have a watch. <laughs> I, uh, I don't remember the last time I did that. Daddy, it's okay if you don't want to. That's right. I know you've been really busy. Honey, no, no. I, I always have time for you. No, come on. Let's, let's, let's do it. Okay, now, I know that you've had a session once before, but now that we understand a little more about what we're dealing with, I'd like to handle our time together a little differently. So, why don't we just open it up to both of you and see what happens. Uh, well, the last time I listened to Lizzie and, and then I responded. Great, maybe today you'd like to start. Or not, there are no rules. Translation is, he's just going to sit there until you say something that actually means something. <sighs> um, well, I love my daughter. Say that to Lizzie. I love you, honey. And, and I'm, I'm very proud of you. And I'm happy that you're committed to doing this. There's, you know, there's a lot that's happened since the last time we did this. I'm not sure where to begin. No, it's right, Dad. You don't have to do it. Where did you get that? This? I found him in the attic when we got back to Springfield. <laughs> that's where I know this guy from. 
He used to be mine when I was little. Well, is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> sure it is, sweetie. I'm glad you have him. When did you say you found him? After Mom's boyfriend and, um, and I. Carl. Yeah. Shooting. Yeah. yeah, after the shooting, I found this little guy, and he helped me through it. <laughs> did you, but Lizzie... No, don't worry. I'm not having tea parties or anything with my stuffed animals anymore, or regression or whatever, but... Doc said that I could keep it kind of as a reminder that I can't make my way back from all the bad stuff. So he really was yours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go way back. He used to protect me from all the monsters under my bed. You know, it really is hard for me to see you as a kid. Or even being scared, for that matter. <laughs> well, I may not be a kid anymore, honey, but I still get scared. Really? Keep it. I want you to remember them. You have me to hold on to, too, okay? If you get scared. You know, Daddy, you really don't have to do this. Do what? Be nice to me. Honey, what are you talking about? Look, I know you blame me for chasing Olivia away. What? I heard you and Aunt Alex, and you know what? I really don't blame you. I, I'm really sorry. Honey, no. When I said what I said, I meant me. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I meant me. 